Hey there tech fans, Rick here again with another review. And today, I'd like to talk a little bit about the expansion capabilities of the EchoFlow Delta Pro portable power station. Now as a standalone unit, this is a pretty incredible power station that can provide a whopping 3600 watts of external power that you can use to easily charge and operate all of your thirsty portable devices. But it also has XBoost technology built in, which is a proprietary technology from EchoFlow that allows that 3600 watts to surge up to 4500 watts when needed. So for example, if you have a lot of things plugged in or you're plugging in something that draws a little more current when it first turns on, like a power drill or a table saw or maybe a compressor, this unit can handle it. The product also provides a wide range of charging options that include an AC kit for the home, plug it into your wall, plug it into the unit, and you can fully charge the unit in under 90 minutes. You can also charge it in your car. You can even charge it from solar panels. So you can set up some solar panels when you're out camping. The energy from that sun will be gathered up by those solar panels and delivered to the unit. And there's a proprietary MPPT circuit built in that takes all the energy generated from the solar panels and grooms it and contours it to deliver it to the batteries in the most efficient way and the safest way possible to quickly charge the unit. But it doesn't stop there because you can use all of those charging methods at the same time. You also have the option to charge it, which I think is a first, from an EV station out on the road. So if you're a tradesman or you've got it in your RV, when you pull into a convenience store and you see one of those fast charging kiosks, you can pull up, plug it in, and rapidly charge the unit. Now, EchoFlow didn't stop there. They actually built in a battery management system, which governs the way the charges are taking place and makes sure that you charge those batteries safely and efficiently. And it's also using lithium ion phosphate batteries, which are the latest technology that have a lot of charge cycles and recharge cycles and will retain that charge for a very long period of time. Now, once you have the unit charged, then you have to deliver that charge to external devices. And EchoFlow provides a wide range of connections and different styles of connections to external devices, including a complement of DC ports on the side there's a standard DC port just like in your car that'll deliver 12 volts at 10 amps there's an Anderson port on there that'll deliver 30 amps of current and there's two 5521s that'll deliver 12 volts at 3 amps each they've also included a series of 120 volt outlets on the front there are four that are full uh, three prong grounded outlets that can provide 20 amps each and a larger one that can provide 30 amps each they didn't stop there because most of us want to charge our phones, our tablets, our games, our cameras from USB connections. So you'll notice on the front, there are four USB-A ports. Two of those are five volts at 2.4 amps. The other two are five volts, but they're QC enabled. So if you have a device that can quick charge, plug it in there. This unit will adjust the voltage and current to charge it quickly and safely, just like you would at home with your home charger. There's also two USB-C connections on there that are PD deliverable, which again is a quick charging standard used on a lot of modern phones and tablets and other things. If you plug in there, they'll do the same thing where they'll handshake with that device, they'll find the right current and voltage and charge it safely and quickly. And each of those USB-C ports can deliver an incredible 100 watts of charging power. So everything you need is in the unit. It's really easy to use it, really easy to charge it, and you can charge all of your portable devices with it. Now, what really makes this interesting to me is that EchoFlow didn't stop there. This portable power station is really the heart of a bigger system, an ecosystem of products. So one of the things they thought about, I think at the factory was, okay, if we sell this to a consumer, they're gonna charge it. If the power goes out in their home, they're gonna use the energy that's in here to keep things running in their home. But then how do they recharge it? Okay, if they've got solar panels on the roof, that's great if it's sunny, but typically during a storm, you won't have solar panels that are effective because it's dark and it's cloudy. So they came out with a smart generator that runs on gasoline that you can put outside your home. And that would be kind of cool because you could charge it, but then you'd have to run outside, turn it on, turn it off, and all the rest of that. Well, this is smart enough that connects to that solar, that outside generator and actually talks to that generator. It's a smart generator so that it only turns on when this needs a charge. So you can use the energy that's in here. If it drops to a certain point, that outside generator kicks in, recharges it. Once it's fully charged, it turns off. So that's one way you can expand it. Another way you can expand it is with additional battery packs. Now, the unit has 3,600 watts of internal capacity. You can add two more external batteries that each have 3,600 watts. So you can take it to 7,200 watts, or you can take it to 10.8 kilowatts with one unit. And you can simply plug these into the back of the unit using the included cable, and you've got double the power or triple the power depending on how many battery packs you're using. Now, the really cool thing about it is that the unit is smart enough to recognize the fact that you've got a second battery out there, and when you charge this unit through whatever method you're using, it evenly distributes that charge between the two units and the same thing when you're discharging it. So it's not like you've got less charge here than on the external batteries. It evens out that charge between them. So essentially you're doubling or tripling your internal capacity. Now, if you buy the external battery pack, it comes with an instruction manual 
a warranty card, and a really heavy duty cable that's proprietary, but it's an incredibly heavy duty cable. So this is typically located right next to this, and I'll show you how it plugs in in a second, but essentially, you've got a display in the front here that lets you know the status of the battery. You've got a display over here that lets you know the status of the overall system. So once you plug the battery in, you'll see that reflected on the front of the unit. And the best part is, you don't have to worry about charging these separately. You just charge this unit, and the energy needed to charge the external battery is transferred through that cable, and the brains inside the Delta Pro keeps track of where those energy uh, electrons are and actually moves them as needed to give you the power you need from that main unit. So EchoFlow has thought about this not just as a portable power station, but as an entire ecosystem for a consumer where you can start with the Delta Pro, and if you find you need more power because maybe the power is going to be out for a couple of days or you've got a lot of really thirsty things you want to run through your home or in your RV, you can easily buy this later and you can add it to the original unit. If you find that you still need more power, you can buy a second one because this will support up to two external batteries, which again takes you to 10.8 kilowatts. That's an incredible amount of power. Most homes in the U.S. don't draw that kind of power in a month, so you've got plenty of energy inside this unit. In addition to that, I love the fact that they're smart enough to realize, I'd like another way to charge it. Why don't we build a generator that runs on gasoline, have people locate that outside their homes, run a small cable in to charge this unit, and have the brains to turn that on and off as needed to fully charge the unit. Now, if you stay tuned next, what I'll do is show you how to connect these two units up together, and then I'll come back with some final thoughts at the end. But if you go with the battery, inside the battery kit, you'll find the cable, the instruction manual, and the warranty card. It all comes with the unit. And again, it couldn't be simpler. You unbox it, put it next to the original Delta Pro, plug it in, and you've got double the capacity. It's a pretty cool product. But stay tuned, I'll show you how the connection happens, and then I'll come back with some final thoughts. The Delta Pro has two external battery connectors labeled Battery 1 and Battery 2, and you'll find the same connector on the battery pack. Now before you connect up the extra battery, make sure you've powered down both units, the Delta Pro and the battery pack. The cable that comes with the battery pack is all you'll need to connect the two together, and you'll start by plugging one end of the cable into battery port number one on the Delta Pro, and the other end into the battery pack. You can then turn both units back on and start using your extra capacity. Here are a few really important things to keep in mind when you're comparing the EchoFlow Delta Pro Portable Power Station to others you may be considering. And the first thing has to do with the company. EchoFlow is a company that really thinks beyond the portable power station. They're constantly trying to innovate in ways you can use this in other scenarios, ways you can charge it that you never thought about before, maybe ways you can expand it using external batteries. A lot of other portable power station companies on the market will build the portable power station and it stops there. Now, granted, there are some companies out there that are starting to offer extra battery packs, but these guys were there first. They were the first company to say, we've got an internal battery pack that has a given capacity. Wouldn't it be cool if we could provide a connection to an external battery pack to double the capacity or triple the capacity. And that way, as a consumer, you can decide, nope, that's big enough for me, but I do need extra power. I can buy this a year later and plug it in and I got double the power. I can buy another one six months later and triple the power. So that's just one way they're thinking of you as a consumer. Another innovation that they built in was the smart generator. I mean, coming up with a gas generator that talks over a digital connection to the portable power station. So when this gets low, it tells the generator to turn on and start sending electrons to recharge the batteries. And once it's full, turn off. That's an amazing thing. They also thought about the solar panel charging. So if you're going to charge this from your solar panels, a lot of times the solar panels have to be very sophisticated and have that control circuit I mentioned a while back, the MPPT circuit, built into the controller of that solar panel. They built it inside the unit, which means you can use anybody's solar panels, connect it up to the front. You can buy EchoFlow as well. They make some great solar panels. But anybody's solar panel will work, so they made it to be kind of an open-ended system where you can plug and play with different products that are on the market. I also love the fact that they built in an EV charging port in the front that's another first from these guys. And when you consider things like the X-Boost technology, which gives you that surge protection from 3,600 watts to 4,500 watts, that was unique. They came up with that. The extreme charging capabilities of the unit where you can get it from pretty much depleted to 80% in a little over an hour time means you can rapidly charge this when a storm is coming. So you've got plenty of power to make it through the blackout. All of those things together really put this company ahead of other companies in the market that are building those portable power stations today, and I think it's worth your consideration. And that's pretty much all I had for today. So thanks an awful lot for watching, <laughs> and until next time, stay nerdy. Mm -hmm.